Israel Adesanya is a disgusting human being and deserves the electric chair. Is what some people are saying after his UFC 287 post fight actions. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, Israel Adesanya, aka the last cringe bender, sent his own boogeyman, his own sleep paralysis demon, Alex Perea, to the shadow realm via KO. But that is not what has everyone upset, right? You know, sure, is he haters? They're having a bad day. They're probably still in bed and listen to some sad Bart Simpson depressed edit. When your favorite fighter loses, there's no other pain quite like that. But a lot of people aren't mad at him winning. They're mad at what he did after he won. After he sent Alex to Valhalla, he then proceeded to emo on his lifeless body with bows and arrows, which those were fine because those were straight cinema. I don't care if you're the biggest Izzy hater. You could be, you could have a nine to five as an Izzy hater. You gotta admit that was cinema. That was beautiful. What has people upset though, is what he did after the bow and arrow, where he peeked into the crowd, identified and looked at Alex's son, and then proceeded to pull a dead corpse emote straight on his ass. And that is what this whole video is about. That is what has so many people on Twitter really, really not happy with Izzy after doing that to a kid. They're saying, why is a grown ass man mocking a child, a, chi a child that just watched his father brutally eat a CTE sandwich from hell and Izzy's doing this to a kid? And to that, I would have to say, pump the brakes, not so fast. Now, before I tell you why Izzy isn't wrong for what he did, let me just give one big disclaimer. I am not an Izzy fanboy, okay? I'm not team style bender, I don't have anime on one screen and his highlight reel on another i think uh he's a good fighter but i think he says a lot of cringy stuff so i'm pretty much just indifferent to him so i don't want you know you to think there's any crazy bias going on me defending my king or something like that now if you don't know izzy and alex have fought that was their fourth time fighting ever in combat sports and on their second fight back in kickboxing Alex got the better of Izzy and sent his ass to the Shadow Realm via KO. And after the fight, one of Alex's sons came to the ring and performed the same exact dead corpse guard pull emote on Izzy's ass. And this isn't some hit piece on Alex's kid or something. This is just defending Izzy on what I feel like he's getting undeserved hate for because people don't know the full story. Which speaking of knowing the full story, if you go back to UFC 281, embedded series on youtube episode two you will see alex in the car with his two sons reliving that moment talking about it where he says this this is this was in my in my fight against adesanya in sao paulo when i knocked him then the alessandro subiu in front of the ring and then i didn't understand it was here i had subbed in the ring then i took a bottle and imitated as my father did Aí eu baixo na cabeça e caí no chão. Well, what do you think now? Because I, I mean that that's pretty clear evidence that it was uh, that it was his son's idea. He was trying to mimic Izzy, and I think Izzy just returned the favor. Okay, I get it. He's a kid. I'm not trying to dunk on a kid, bro. All right, I got better things to do. Believe it or not, I got better things to do than dunk on a kid. But I just think that it's kind of insane that people are almost like just freaking out on Izzy for doing this where it was, it's just karma, bro. What, what comes around goes around. If you, can, if you can't dish it out, stay out the kitchen. And you know, I, I, I get it. He was a kid, but bro, like, you know, you, you, you got to learn at some age, all right? And I guarantee you, I guarantee you, bro, if Alex knocked out Izzy in this last fight, I, I'm sure I can almost put the house on him that his son would probably do the same exact thing again. And I also feel like the kid's perfectly fine because dude, if your dad is Alex Perea, I'm pretty sure you're built a little bit different, okay? I think you're a little more mentally tough than, than the than the norm, okay? And I'm sure that kid could kick my ass, all right? I, I I guarantee it. So, I'm sure the kid's doing just fine. Sure, it was a bad night at the office, but that's that's what this game is, bro. Like Connor said, the highest highs and the lowest lows. It is what it is. So I just I just I don't know, man. I saw a lot of people on Twitter just talking about it and just being so mad at Izzy and like once again, I'm not an Izzy fanboy. I could care less, but it was just kind of like. A little bit of hip hop, not like hypocrisy, but just kind of like, bro, do you know the full story? You know, like Izzy's son was fully, Alex's son was fully aware of what he was doing. All right, man. I just want to make a video on this whole, oh, you know, emo controversy drama stuff. Thought it was interesting. Wanted to give my take. Hopefully you give your take too in the comments down below. Let me know what you think about it. Which side are you on of the drama? All right. You want team Izzy, team Alex? I don't know, bro. There's really not even teams. It's just, just a bunch of hoopla. All right. And then, but you know, everyone loves a little bit of drama every now and then. Even this guy. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Smash like if you liked it. 
uh, and subscribe to the channel. But thanks for watching. I really appreciate you. And I'll see you in the next video.